Hello again, FSC, Fest Check Speed and Custom Shop. Well, today the game plan is we're going to get the front brakes installed back on this Cadillac. Once we get the brakes installed, I'll be able to put the wheels back on, you know, the front tires. It have been off this car for God knows how long. Put the front tires back on the car, set it back down on the ground, and then we're going to play an episode of Musical Cars. The reason for this is because I've been so busy dealing with my son's pickup and the deadline for this. Then I had my project sitting here patiently waiting, and then I had other projects patiently waiting, such as the Mustang right there behind the camera that you can't see, and the Chevelle sitting here on the, on the rotisserie, patiently waiting for me to finally get back to them. The owners have been patient, but I don't want them to be much more patient. I also have an unseen thing. If you see there's a blue Chevy truck parked out front, that's Mexican Bob's truck. I gotta get started on getting that stuff handled as well. I got an engine build for him that, that, that those components have to be sent down to Alaska's to get powder coated and then brought back here to Wisconsin. That's a whole nother film for a whole nother day. The point is I got to play musical cars because what was not priority a month ago is now priority and that has to happen. So enough talking. Let's get started. The weather forecast kind of psyched me out and said it was going to be raining by one o'clock besides the fact jen had to go to work and it's a little helpful if she's here now to help me so we're gonna play musical cars first and then we're gonna put the wheels on the cadillac Ford F100. There's a video, well previous to this video, I have link in the description down below. If you want to see this thing first start up for the very first time ever and all about this truck, go ahead and watch that video. I have other videos about doing the brakes and other, other parts of the truck that I've done, so go ahead and watch that if this interests you. If not, well keep watching this video while we uh, work on a Cadillac. Ford V8 built right here at FSC, Fest X Speeding Custom. Again, watch that video, you might be impressed. That's the kind of crap we do.
of the best and most costly things. For many Americans, another definition of luxury is Cadillac. 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 set the distributor in, got it pretty close, turned it on, I got it running reasonably, and then I shut it off. I didn't have the time. So today what I'm going to do is actually set the timing. Get it up to temperature, get the coolant level set up, because right now I literally just filled it up and let it be. The thermostat didn't open, the engine is still full of air. So I've got to get it up to temperature, set the jumper in the OBD2 port under the dash, to get the computer to stop trimming it so I could set its final timing. The ID tag on the radiator support shows it should be at 10 degrees before top dead center. That's with the jumper wire in the OBD2 port. So I'll go ahead and do that here shortly. When it comes up and runs, you're going to hear exhaust leaks. You're going to hear noises that eventually will be gone. The thermactor pump, all the, all the emission system is not hooked up. The thermactor pump has the belt going to it, but it's just blowing into, into nowhere. It's not doing anything yet. That part isn't hooked up. The air tube that goes into the catalytic converter, that I do not have hooked up. So naturally exhaust leaks out. It sounds like an exhaust leak. It is an exhaust leak. I haven't hooked it up yet. Right now I just want to get it running, get the timing set, get it up to temperature, and then I'll start worrying about all the other little stuff once I can actually get it done. I did finally install the front brakes. Jen came over a little bit ago. Honestly, she isn't feeling too well. She's under the weather today, so I didn't film that. She helped me bleed the brakes, and to be honest, she didn't miss anything. You heard me going, press, release, press, release. It gets boring anyway. You already have a video of that. Watch the video of me working on my son's F100. This car, by the way, being it's 1990, has two kind of old school features to it. One, it has the old school style HEI distributor. It does not have the more modern distribution module. The other thing, in 1990, ABS or analog brakes was optional for Cadillac. This car does not have ABS. That makes my life as a mechanic a lot simpler. And to be honest, unlike most people nowadays, I believe, they don't know how to drive. They don't know how to regulate the brake pedal with their foot. They just ah! step on it, just smash the brake as hard as they can, scream as loud as they can, and hope they don't hit something. Well, sometimes crashing into crap is unavoidable, but you really shouldn't need ABS, in my opinion. So, if this car doesn't have it, I'm happier. Let's leave it at that, shall we? So, let me go ahead and get started. Let me show you how to put this jumper wire in. It really is simple. It's just a wire shaped like a C with, with two ends taken off of it. It's just a jumper wire. Simple stuff. We'll go ahead and get this done. Okay, so now I'm going to try to show you the timing mark on the car, but it's not labeled very well. There is a very defined mark on the pulley right there. It's not up there right now. It's just a notch. But if you look, it's not very well labeled. Now that plate is actually the water pump. So this is the old water pump right here. I don't know if this will show up or not. Before, meaning before top dead center. 
zero at the tip zero four eight twelve we're looking for ten ten is right here so if you think of it like a saw blade one two three peaks in the valley or one two third valley that's where ten is so this right here is what the obd2 port looks like and terminal a and terminal b is what you have to jump so now i'll show you where the obd2 port is underneath the dash Okay, so now we have the jumper wire installed, and that tells the computer we're setting the timing. Don't mess with anything. So now we got the timing light set up. I already got a hook to the battery, and I just got to hook the hook this part here to number one cylinder. Number one cylinder is right here, over just north, just above the thermactor pump. But we're gonna hook up to it over here, this wire in here. This one. I have the clock position set slightly different. It really doesn't matter. Let's hook onto that now. A straight shot right down there is the timing mark. Okay, so now we have it set up so the computer knows that that's what we're doing. You straighten the wheel a little bit. Okay, turn it on. See if she'll fire. Now she's up and running. The computer trims the idle with this right here. Right now it isn't liking its current position. Let's go ahead and change that. That smoke, if you see any, yeah, you should see it. All that smoke is a never seize. Where I bolted the manifolds to the heads, I put a lot of never seize on there. That stuff will smolder and smoke away. There was it was caked with oil to some degree. Plus, it's a bare it's a bare exhaust leak, like I said back there from that air tube in the cat. All a timing light is, is a strobe light that strobes when the cylinder is fired. Okay, so 
I got done power washing the floor. If you notice, the Mustang is no longer here. The Mustang is up front, and the Cadillac moves under its own power, so it's right here. I had the whole shop pretty much emptied out, and I power washed the floor. I threw a bunch of degreaser down. I have a nice floor drain right underneath the Cadillac. And then I got the Mustang moved, it's sitting over here for now. Because once the Cadillac is finished, I'm going to get back on this. reason the bikes were running is it's raining outside and the bikes got wet and I decided what the heck I would just fire them up and drive them in. Of course I let them run for a little while to get the moisture out of the exhaust. What most don't realize is once you fire up a car and you see the moisture and the steam coming out the tailpipe you're condensating and you're loading up the exhaust in the inside of the exhaust pipes and your mufflers with a lot of moisture. If you don't drive it or let it idle long enough to evaporator boil off that water that water sits in the bottom of your muffler and then it rots it out so if you literally just start your car drive it to the deli like a minute and a half down the street shut it off start it back up drive to the house and that's your typical commute you'll need a muffler inside of two years if you start it drive it a good distance and avoid those quick little starts and stops you'll have a muffler last you 200,000 miles your choice that's why I let them run so anyway, that's how we're doing. Caddy runs under her own power. Obviously, I got to do some like buffing and work to it to make it look a lot prettier. But what the heck? I sat there and did the math. I can't believe if you think about it, this car effectively has been off the road for about 10 years, 9 years, somewhere in that range. The Pennsylvania State Inspection Sticker expired sept uh, July of 09. And it's been in Wisconsin since about that time. Not long after that, I took it apart and it's been sitting. So now she runs under her own power and I'm pretty happy with it. Thank you for watching. Do yourself a favor, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell with the notifications. You'll see how this car continues to evolve from the way you see it now, from the way you've seen it in past videos. Believe me, this could be a Cadillac like none you've ever seen before. This one I'm doing for myself. I talked about the Mustang that's being done for somebody else. My son's pickup truck. You see the you see the trend here. I don't only do my own stuff. This channel is not only about me. Obviously, if you watch the channel, you see I intro and outro with my shop. Wear the shop swag. I am a for hire shop for you. So with that, I am Steve Festjack. This is FSC Festjack Speed and Custom Shop. What else can I build for you? The dictionary defines luxury as the enjoyment of the best and most costly things. For many Americans, another definition of luxury is Cadillac. Yeah, yeah. Is Cadillac. Yeah, yeah.